Let's uh, give a big round of applause here for our first class in our uh, Beef Builder Division. I think uh, uh, we have a really, really good set that we have out here. Um, I think uh, just kind of splitting the hairs here, going back and forth between our showmanship as well as just the, the quality of these kids. I think all seven of these exhibitors have uh, uh, certainly done an ample job just getting these things fed. I think, uh, you know, even the three over here that aren't getting pulled back, I think, uh, especially I think this young lady right here, I thought just very, very close for me between her and another one. Uh, specifically, that her showmanship I thought was very, very uh, high quality. I just want to see just a little bit more just punch and power in that gap whenever I get right behind them. Just not quite as stout as just a couple of these other ones. Her showmanship was really, really good. Love the practicality in that camp right there that the young man has. Big body, really, really good, practical kind of a camp. Um, just wish once again that he had just a little bit extra look there from the side. Uh, maybe we could pull them together just a little bit better, but still, that's still a really, really good camp as well. Young man there up front, that's, you know, like I said, that one's another really good structure, good balance one. Just doesn't have quite the stoutness and just power of a couple of other ones. And then the four that we're going to end up bringing back over here, I think just a really, really good combination here with all four exhibitors just in terms of quality of the cattle, uh, as well as doing an ample job getting them shown. Uh, we'll talk more about these four whenever we get back in our grand drive. Big round of applause for all these. And like I said, we're seven deep in this field. Really, really good set. Good job there. Um, before returning, Charles Eggenberg, Kevin Eggenberg, right, Everett Collison, and Fiona Sarton. Class two, Rebecca Tingle, Alyssa Abi, Maria Jose Flores, Santiago Flores. So the cat that wins in this drive may not be our champion beef builder. We'll announce that at the end of the breeding show.
<laughs> he says it's nap time. All right. <laughs> and then the steer locks up.
Apologize for taking a little bit longer on this. Uh, just trying to, you know, couple together not just quality of the cattle, not just the fleshiness of the cattle for their weight, uh, but as well as showmanship as well, and just having to differentiate between all that. I wanted to try to get as many views as I could with each one of these kiddos and just, uh, you know, just get all those views and just try to differentiate all that. I thought, uh, you know, even though this is one of the lighter ones in here, I thought the young lady here that's ended up being our champion, I, I think that okay. one, uh, uh, not only is that calf, in my opinion, the best, just from a muscle-shaped standpoint, a rib-shaped standpoint, uh, but for the weight, and I think uh, that one's condition and just presentation is top-notch. I think uh, uh, probably the best in here, I think, just in terms of that one having the right kind of flesh and yet still being fresh in terms of its appearance from the side, in terms of that one's chest for the weight. You get behind the cattle, the longest hip, to, uh, probably the most correct in terms of that one's hind leg. Get behind him, though, and read over that one. I think uh, that one, just as an individual, is the biggest hit, probably the squarest to the surface uh, whenever you watch that one walk away from you. I love the shape to that one's forearm, the balance uh, from the side. Like I said, uh, you know, folks sitting ringside, when you see one with the chest and the flank that sits like that, the levelness down that one's top and still the ability to have muscle like that, that's one that's really good structure really really good just in terms of its angles and like I said to have the kind of muscle that that one does just a really really good one there and then on top of it I feel like that young lady uh, arguably does the best out here I think just a really really good one there to win uh, super super good set uh, it got close here uh, you know for me here between these uh, I think uh, you know both of these cattle I think uh, young man's here just really really practical in terms of its center body love the practicality and just the flexibility with that one Young man's just demeanor, eye contact, I think does a very good job. Has that one square, uh, you know, at all points, I think, still does a good job. That one doesn't have quite as much, uh, maybe just look there from the side as the young ladies. That's why it got close to me. That young lady, just her eye contact and everything. You had that one set up backwards here, and we pulled him on over to profile, but other than that, I thought it just a tremendously good job, young lady, especially just eye contact and, and getting that one fed correctly. You can just see that one in terms of its forehead, the strength there behind its shoulder and still the shape that that one has down its top. That one's starting to lay fat on correctly the way that it needs to. I think just a really, really good one there. Uh, I think a young man here that's going to end up coming in fourth, that's actually one of, probably one of my more favorite calves just in terms of that one's rib shape and just center body. Uh, I think that one is, a, you can definitely make the case for that one being the best just in terms of that one center, really soft, really practical kind of a calf. Not quite as much shape there from behind as a couple of these other ones. Not quite as much of the look up front maybe as a couple of these other ones. But man, the practicality, the skeleton with that one, I think is very, very good. Uh, I think that's one that certainly as we get down the road here, several hundred pounds in the future, that's definitely one that's gonna be targeting that choice grade. I think a really, really good one. Young man, I think just a couple times there, just uh, kind of threw that one off just a bit from the side. Need to try to get that head up just a shot better. Uh, let that one fall apart. Uh, over here a little bit when we first pull them over here into profile. I uh, just think we can maybe pull that one together just a shot better. But still, love the practicality, the center body in that one. I think a really good job there. Young lady that's going to be coming next, I thought uh, ultimately uh, sorting her up for me is just the elite showmanship that comes with this young lady. I think just in terms of her eye contact, the way that she carries her camp around, specifically the way she holds that one's head, gets that one's feet set, I thought you did one of the better jobs probably of anyone we've seen so far. That camp is just a little bit raw there in terms of his rib, not quite as just uh, just soft there in terms of his heart and forerib, and you can really see it here from a three-quarter view. Get from behind, that one wants to taper and just doesn't have quite just the punch and power there to its twist and quarter uh, and just pin width as a couple of these other ones. But like I said, that young lady's uh, just showmanship was outstanding, and that's still a really, really nice gift as well. Young man's going to be coming next. Like the shape that that one has from, be from behind, I'd like to Even make that one softer. Yeah. I think uh, that one, as we move down the road, I think is just going to keep getting better and better. I think a really nice one there. Same holds true for the young man that's going to be coming next. I thought just presentation, uh, you know, just the clip job on that one and getting that one looking right just from a, just from a presentation standpoint, really, really elite job there. I think uh, that one's design is really good. 
good structured, level made. You like those things about that one. That one just isn't nearly as advanced, just uh, you know, just from a, a softness and just fat standpoint. That one probably gives up the most just in terms of body uh, out of, of all these out here. Not quite as much power there from behind. Love the skeleton, uh, really good balance though kind of kit. That like, like I said, I think as we move down the road, that one can certainly turn some heads and work its way up as, as we move down the road with that one. Young man there that's gonna brown out the class. I thought just a really practical, good body kind of kit. That one actually reads with more shape from behind than the two directly ahead of them. Just need to get that one uh, just set up just a lot better uh, uh, out here to just really showcase the, the, the things that that one brings to the table. Super good set. Give all these kids a round of applause. Really, really outstanding set. Thank you, Mariah. 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 It's doing its winning lap. Once we get the ring cleared out, and Travis caught, we'll move into our commercial sheet, our reading news. 